space is scary. But at the same time, it can be funny and from time to time even both. Well, let's investigate it and let's talk with Bank, the developer responsible for the upcoming game called, well, Retro Space. Hi Bank, how are you? Hi, thanks, so fine. Nice to be here. I'm also happy you are here and, and we can c talk about your game. Before this interview, I had that thought that uh, 60s and 70s were a very weird time for science fiction. You know, those times before Star Wars, where on one hand we had all those big epic movies like uh, 2001 Space Odyssey, on the second hand we had all those charming but at the same time cheesy sci-fi flicks with puppet monsters slash aliens and of course always beautiful ladies. But I see now that more and more artists go back to those times, to, to those aesthetics in their modern creations and the same goes to retro space. So I'm curious, why did you decide to do a homage to those, well, weird times for science fiction? I think it's it's exactly, exactly what you say, this uh, bipolarity of the sci-fi genre, which is quite fascinating to us. Uh, on one hand, there were amazing science fiction masterpieces by writers like Stanislav Lem, Frank Herbert, Ray Bradbury, or Philip K. Dick. Uh, on the other hand, the shelves were full of cheap pulp fictions, and in the film industry, this was the golden age of these easygoing, light-hearted, uh, adventurous flicks we all know well now. So it was a very strange and weird era. Like you said, Space of the Sea uh, competes with movies like Logan's Run or Planet of the Apes. Uh, and, and both are funky and great in their own way. So uh, this high contrast is exactly what we are seeking with Retro Space because our game is sexy and bold and cool and disco, but it will also feature some quite heavy uh, and mature themes and pretty uh, brutal horror sections too. So uh, we are trying to reach for nostalgia, but favor it with some pretty nasty hard sci-fi and atmospheric horror themes and set pieces. Uh -huh. So it's about finding the balance between being serious and being funny at the same time. That's, that's one of the cornerstone of, of our design philosophy. As I said, Retro Space is a strange and unique mixture. It is a disco punk and space horror, a weird tale of a, a space station swallowed by a sentient black hole. It's like a game from the early 2000s or the PS2 era with some modern uh, touches and a mix uh, of a lot of things we always like in games. It blends elements of immersive sims, uh, survivor horror games, metroidvanias, but really the emphasis uh, is on player freedom. So yes, there will be a strong narrative, but for the, uh, most of the game, the player goes where they want and explores the space station however they want. So this means that uh, they can play as, as a crazy mutant action hero <laughs> or like a, a non-lethal stealth master character. The choice is real and uh, we will push the player to explore and experiment as much as they want. Oh, and wishlist the game now on Steam. <laughs>